morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Progressive. Just wanted to speak to you today about your choices in life and how to access and grow from your own individuality, your own individual self, the light of your individual self, rather than whatever you have been brought up with as your family, your culture, your society, wherever you live in. How to go beyond this? Well, there are a couple of blocks that you might immediately face, which I want you to be very keenly aware of. Pay attention to this because it will be vital in determining your course and what you end up doing as a result. First of all, you have to ditch the idea of role models. The earlier older energy used to work in the form of role models. Role models in society, maybe heroic figures. Uh, heroic figures in the politics or in government or it might be actors in movie in cinema or it might be famous people known people it might be even Einstein it might be a f your favorite scientist or your favorite person in your life your uncles your aunts whoever you consider your role models be careful of taking that on too much personally I would suggest don't take on any of it but as you grow up you are kind of influenced by all these people that are role models or you take them on role models in your life I want to become like this person I want to become like that actor or I want to achieve that level of success or I want to have their lifestyle or their money or their success and so on and so forth it can go on the whole list can go on and this keeps changing your concept of role models keeps shifting and changing throughout life anyway as you grow and mature you will shift your role models but going from one role model to another role model seriously defeats your own uniqueness why do i say this well <clears throat> if you keep taking on role models kind of working and being in the world or playing and creatively engaging in the world you are taking an already established idea an already established way of being of some other person and copying it and pasting onto your life well that straight away as you can see defeats your uniqueness there what are you bringing to the table as the unique human being among seven billion people you are very unique there'll be never a repetition of you so you and you are here trying to kind of spend time and your energy in just copying somebody else's theme of life or what they are trying to achieve or how they are doing it in fact that's more critical how are they going about it what is their style what kind of things do they do what is their body language what kind of language or diction they use all of these things you take on unconsciously because the human mind and the human energy field is like a sponge it kind of takes on everything else which is around it and the more you tune yourself to one person or a whole set of people even if it will be in, in your friend circle in the earlier years you'll kind of tend to take on them as I want to be like this person or be like that person be very careful about doing that you might want to see that thing as good or this kind of person as good and that's it don't take it as role models because you end up taking their energy field your goal if at all you want to call it that it should be to access your uniqueness not take on the concept of role models as an external factor why because the energies on the planet have shifted now it's no longer about copying other styles of living or other styles of doing and living and working and being it's about you bringing your own unique talents to the table you have unique talents if you say I do not have any unique talents well it's because I suggest that <clears throat> you might not have spent enough time accessing that you need to spend time with yourself with your own being sit with it reflect on it sit silently and reflect on it what might I bring which is unique and access that uniqueness above all things be careful of all kinds of programming people say you should be like this you should be like that or you should become such and such a profession or professional or you should be talented in this and that 
people can give suggestions there's nothing wrong with people giving suggestions but you taking it on as yes i have to do this i yes i can become this may not be always the correct path for you and this is why i suggest even going to a good vedic astrologer and checking out where you shine where you belong kind of working with them one on one it's not just important to get a reading on anything it's important to work with them and understand where this is going if you are the captain of your own ship if you are the captain of your own ship of life and where you are taking your life as think of your life as a boat as a ship and you are in charge of it you are the captain you have to steer your own boat in a particular direction how are you ever going to achieve that level of satisfaction because that's where satisfaction and contentment really lie for anyone it's in steering your own course of life and if you are taking the advice of the captain of another ship that this is where you should go this is how you should be doing it then you are taking the boat of your life in the same direction as that captain was headed you will not discover new territories of life you will not discover new lands new ways of being and this new energy on the planet since 2012 and onwards is promoting uniqueness above all you got to work with the collective you got to work with all the people in your generation yes and you automatically have that in you already yes you have creativity you have compassion you have this by default and you work very well with your teammates but remember you are here to bring your own unique flavor to the collective you are not here to just take on everybody else's flavor because this kind of approach of taking on other people's energy is going to very quickly make you feel dead end inside you feel dead inside you don't feel that you are bringing anything else you need to bring something of your own uniqueness that should be your your goal or your focus in life every single day where is my uniqueness today where do i bring this person that i am and whatever this new day is bringing in my life and how do i go from there that should be your focus because in accessing your uniqueness you will feel the thrill of life you will feel the joy of life you will feel the joy of being alive you will feel a sense of aliveness as you try to uncover your own truths and there can be number of truths you can do number of things let nobody tell you that you can do one thing and you are here for that one thing that would be really unwise you are not here to do one thing you are here to do 50 different things all at once or change it every other day but you got to keep up your barometer as the thrill of life are you getting the thrill out of life are you getting the excitement and the joy out of your own creations that will be the sign that your body will give you your body will tell you whether you are finding thrill you are finding action your brain will generate juices you will find more creativity like springing forth from inside your body and you will want to carry that out for what not for generally changing the society or changing this or that but generally feeling the thrill of life you got to work from the place of thrill and excitement because those are the things that your soul is bringing forward to you for you to see and work with and enjoy with so in this is where work and in play kind of become blended in your life if you start working this way without any role models without anything just think of them as all are humans as equally as you were which is a fact every single human doesn't matter which guru it is or which teacher it is or what role model you take on they are all just equally as human as you are they have just decided to chart their own course and get the thrill out of whatever they are doing or whatever they ended up believing in be careful of beliefs be careful of taking on anything as i believe so and so i believe so and so beliefs are just your thought structures which are fixed in nature you want to take comfort in them those are your comfort zones every single time a human being takes on beliefs remember this it is going to be shattered your beliefs are not what you are here for your beliefs are not what your soul is come here to live as so there is nothing to do with belief life energy 
as i spoke of in other podcasts there's nothing to do with beliefs nothing to do with ideas nothing to do with concrete structures of any kind you are here as a flow of life so you must learn to go with that flow and one of the key things you've got to delete out of your brain is all these things that you have taken on as role models don't let anybody be your role model you be your own role model you try to outlive yourself every single day you try to build upon your own stuff what you created yesterday and try to make them better you are trying to always like rekindle your own internal fire so to speak you are rekindling your own fire of creativity creativity is like a fire in your belly it needs to rise it needs to shine by itself it doesn't need permission of anybody for you to sit and shine wherever you are in your life your creative energy and your self expression and your self worth will come as a result of you trying to engage your own sense of self worth your own innate sense of creativity your own innate sense of well being that's where well being comes from that's where good health comes from that's where your joy comes from you trying to be able to ignite your own soul into complete manifestation as in you're bringing from you to the outer world if you are a piece of fire a soul fire all you're trying to do or your soul is wanting you to achieve in this life is to have that burn the brightest possible in the most joyous way possible in the most illuminating way possible you're bringing that forth for everybody to see and for you to see and enjoy that one of the things you need to remember whenever you start shining like this you will attract a lot of people around you you will attract radiance you will attract connection you will attract meet different kinds of people maybe different to the ones you took on before it's important for you to remember this because then the, this radiance will be magnetic it will be attracting all kinds of people around you and that's the your sweet spot that's your sweet spot that's your energetic sweet spot you need to be work and do from that kind of a spot in yourself because that will feed you that will energetically feed you it will nurture your mind it will nurture your heart and you will feel alive and you will be healthy and that's how you need to live your life this is the best way possible on a daily basis just to work with what is the greatest possibility for me today what is the greatest point of existence that i can tap into today where is the lightness today what feels light to me today light as opposed to heavy or let's try to ask questions in this direction what makes me feel light what would make me feel joyous truly joyous and because most of the time the way we are brought up tends to cover it up in all kinds of you have to like you have to do this you have to do that you have to be responsible you have to have to the endless list of have to that we have in this culture and every other culture in human civilization that covers up that light i spoke of that covers up your internal fire essentially if you want to access your internal fire you got to break out of all the family dramas you got to break out of all the relationships you got to break out of all the the role models or roles that you take on people take on roles and just become entrapped by them remember roles are nothing but roles it doesn't matter who you are you might be called an engineer doctor lawyer accountant or something in profession or you might be called a brother a sister a parent a mother or father in role those are just roles they have nothing to do with who you are as a soul as a soul whatever you bring forth could be only that which you know to be uniquely you that which ignites your fire that which ignites the internal eyes that you have the your internal eyes see everything very clearly you need to access that level of clarity that should be your target your own internal level of clarity clarity and 
awareness if you want to call it that should be such that you don't need to ask another person you will go beyond doubts that way going beyond doubts is what your working style being style should be in this world because if you're going beyond doubts then you're really going beyond anybody else's teaching or preaching anybody else's learning or unlearning that might be offered to you lots of things will be offered to you by the way of education by the way of being how to be this and how to be that and how to achieve this and achieve that good ideas but that's all they are they are just ideas of other human beings your thrill and excitement is going to come from where it's going to come from inside you and that's what you're going to tap into using astrology like vedic astrology is just a tool remember that it's nothing more than a tool you can have other forms of access as well but spend time accessing this first do this as a first way of approaching yourself don't directly jump to things some bandwagon of ideas or some bandwagon of choice of other people's roles and responsibilities and say i want to do this or become this in my life that would be a very unwise thing for you to do i'll tell you that straight away so think about this reflect on this and if you want to get in touch or see this podcast in your language see the youtube for subtitles take care be awesome wherever you are shine and be awesome